Hey, how y'all doing everybody? Welcome to another brand new video and we are going to be looking at the best PC slash graphic settings for Modern Warfare 3. Now, there's like a lot of people that be struggling with, you know, FPS and visibility issues and just seeing enemies in general. And this video should help you in the best way possible. If it doesn't help you, I'm sorry, but we're going to show y'all our best settings to help y'all see and help y'all do a lot better with visibility and FPS and PC. Auto Warfare 3. If this video helped out in any sort of way, make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe for new content every single day, and notification, hit that bell icon. Make sure you do all too. Don't forget to press all. That increases your chances of seeing the video by a lot. Let's show you all the settings real quick. All right, so first off, before you do anything, bro, before you do anything, you gotta put on full screen. Now, what this does is it actually, you know, constrains everything into this one spot. So full screen is, it's, it's the best thing. I think borderless is worse because you can it'll actually uh, capture your mouse too. Uh, this thing that, I'm, that you guys see right here, it's gonna capture this too. And it's just, it's gonna leave room for like some slow movement. So you definitely wanna keep it on full screen, exclusive or whatever full screen option you have. The first option right below uh, windowed and then display monitor, whatever monitor you have. And then this is the graphics card. This is what I have. This is for Nvidia. So. You can say that these graphics settings are mainly for NVIDIA users. Um, if you guys really want an in-depth in -depth explanation of NVIDIA graphics cards, go ahead and hit up uh, Sense Quality. They're the best with that. We also got the screen refresh rate of 144. Now, if you have like a higher refresh rate, just go to that option, uh, whatever option you have on your monitor. Uh, for display resolution, 1920. And then for this, whatever resolution you have on your monitor, this doesn't affect it that much, but whatever. Uh, quality you have on that. We also got the aspect ratio automatic. When we got the VSync off, yeah, keep this off, bro. Please keep this off. And the custom frame rate unlimited. Now, back in Warzone 1, um, this was actually very, very useful when you put it on custom because at the loading screen, your FPS would go to what, like 400, 300, 500, something like that. And then we would have to like, like decrease all the way to 60. But for multiplayer, you don't have you don't have to do that, guys. So keep it on keep it on a limited so your frame rate is actually not you know capped at like 120 or 60, 30, whatever. So yeah, you definitely want to keep this so you have more freedom in the games, a lot more FPS for sure. Uh, don't worry about this. Keep that the same. Uh, gamma the same. Brightness. You can do whatever you want for that. But honestly. I'm gonna show you all a better way to do that in, uh, later on in the video. So don't worry about that. We will come back to that. Focus mode, keep that off. Everything else, oh, low latency, low latency. So depending on what kind of graphics card you have, you can put it on, on plus boost. But the only bad thing about that is it actually increases your GPU power draw. So you wanna be careful with that. So just keep it on. This is like a balanced, this is like a balanced mode right here. So to just keep this on, on our right, quality. So I've been hearing that extreme is good. Now, as you can see, my VRAM goes all the way up. So unless you have like a very, very good PC, do not put this up. And in ultra, I can do this, but it may affect your FPS a little bit. Depending on your PC, you can do extreme, like I said, but if you want to, uh, if you don't, if you don't have like the best PC and you're not, and you're wondering, yo, which one do I pick? Like, which one is good for my PC? Just go to recommend it. It automatically put your settings the way you like it on this game, which is a very good feature. So just go to re uh, recommend it. Always do recommend it if you guys don't know what you're doing with that. Um, render resolution, keep that the same. Dynamic resolution off. Okay, upscaling. Okay, so I've been hearing a lot of people have been doing uh, either Fidelity or DLSS. Now, both of those are also good, but... If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I think image scaling is the best. This actually worked for Modern Warfare 2 as well. You're going to see in our games, we actually use image scaling and it worked very good. The gra you can see a lot of people like this. And then when you switch it to native, it's a done deal, bro. It's the best thing you can ever do. Like, I used to play on quality. Look, I'm going to show you guys what, what happens. I'm going to show you guys what happens. Look. So you see quality. You see how it's kind of like, it looks kind of like a uh, Blackout, Black Ops 4. And then when you switch to native... Look, look what happens when you switch to native. Look, I'm going to show you guys right now. When you switch to native, though, bro, look at this. It's it's night and day. Look look how clear that is, bro. It just looks so much better. It looks so sharp. You guys see how uh, sharp it looks? So, yeah, play on native, guys. And then for uh, sharpness, you can do whatever you want for this. This actually it makes it a lot easier to see enemy targets. So you want to keep this uh, all the way up. 
depending depending on your vision. Anti-aliasing. So for this game, it's actually easier to do S M A A T two X rather than filmic. I think Model Warfare Two filmic was better. S M A A for Model Warfare Three is way better. And then the quality of it, put it on low. Um, makes your FPS a little bit better as well. VRAM target, keep that on ninety. You actually want to see how much uh VRAM you're using or the per yeah the percentage that you're using. Very important. All right, texture resolution and details textures. This should be the exact same as Modern Warfare 2. All of these should be the same. Very, Just keep it relatively low. It doesn't matter what kind of PC you have. Just keep all of these relatively low. This actually increases your FPS by a lot. On-demand texture streaming, yeah, keep that off. Shadows, you don't need shadows in this game, bro. You don't need it. Ambient inclusion, keep that off. Now on default, it actually has static objects on. That's what that's what I noticed for my settings. So keep this off. You guys don't need to worry about this. This is for like objects and buildings, windows, vehicles, whatever you want to call it. You do not need this. Uh, screen space reflections. Keep that off, bro. Um, unless you want to look at the camos, you don't even need to touch it. Static reflection quality. Keep that on low. All right. So for environment, environment settings, I think this would mainly be good for people that play ground war. I think this is these are like ground war settings and like bigger terrain maps. So you want to keep this uh, relatively low. So especially tessellation, that's like one of the most important ones. Um, yeah, I would say this is the most important one. Uh, terrain memory, put this on medium. Uh, depending on what you want to see or I said what you want to see, what textures your memory allows you to have, I guess. Um, if that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but whatever your memory can allow, just adjust it according to your memory. Volumetric quality, get low. Yeah, all of these just keep this relatively low. You don't need to worry about no water quality. I think the default was either, I think it was this one. Yeah, this is default. Yeah, so like I said, any type of water map or ground war map that has like big terrain with a lot of water, like a lot of bodies of water, just don't keep it at like a very, very low setting. Cause that those water animations, bro, like they they definitely affect it a lot, bro. Trust me. All right, now the view, field of view. Now you're playing multiplayer. You don't need one. Hold on. Matter of fact, a lot of people play on 120. Okay, it looks flashy. It looks really good on the videos. Okay, but what's not gonna look good is that aim assist. So if you guys didn't know, 120 or keeping a high FOV actually makes your aim assist a lot worse. So you want to keep this at around like 105 to like 110, something like that. Personally, for me, I play on 110, but I, I've been seeing that 105 is also good. But I just think 110 is like a perfect sweet spot between 105 and 120. That's why I do it. Just want to keep it to your own personal preference. ADS field of view, keep that on affected. You don't want to do independent. Just keep it on affected. Trust me. Source is uh, trust me, bro. <laughs> uh, weapon filter, bro. We got default. Uh, vehicle field of view, default. Uh, motion blurs, keep all of that off unless you're going to a montage or something i mean i i guess keep it on i mean if you want to do montage do weapon blur on but you ain't doing no montage so you don't need it bro you don't need it film grain zero don't need it first person camera don't need it uh, it's on default usually but put it on least so your camera doesn't freaking shake invert a flashbang you you can keep it off if you want i mean if you like having white a lot of white on your screen i'm not trying to be racist if you like having like a white flashbang on your screen you won't be able to see you'll be blind but what inverted does it actually makes it a black effect so it makes it a little bit easier to see and anybody that has like photo sensitivity this actually helps a lot make sure you're very attentive on how the effect is on your eyes on your screen on your game you no know, things like that and that is my graphics settings for model affair 3. now i'm gonna show you all my nvidia settings as well i think that's what's the one of the most important ones so give me a second don't mind the wallpaper right here we got a little mario car 8 deluxe kind of wallpaper but anyway so what you want to do is when you go to your nvidia control panel this is only for nvidia users so first off you want to go to desktop color settings you want to go there um, you want to adjust your brightness to your own liking this is what i was talking about during model fair 3 so that's why i'm saying you don't need to adjust that at all so if you want to keep your brightness up put it on your graphics card only don't worry about the game just do it right here because this is going to be a lot more easy you see the difference bro i don't know if y'all can see it on my monitor but you'll definitely notice a really really fond difference keep this wet relatively low if you guys want to keep it higher i would just do no no higher than 60. no higher than 60. you don't want to be no blind bat contrast 65 but just keep it relatively like around like 65 and like 75 something like that just 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 tinker around with it see what your vision can handle so for this video we're gonna do a 60 no 70 70. gamma keep that on one vibrance this all depends on your vision like i said you don't need to worry about this too much but this actually 
makes your visibility in the game 10 times better and i'm not exaggerating so i think the default version of this is like 50. when you turn your vibrance up you're going to notice that the saturation and the color correction goes up with it so you want to definitely tinker around with that and see what's most comfortable for you um you don't want to go any higher than like 80 or no higher yeah no higher than 80 guys just keep it around 80 70 75 something like that yeah you don't want to go higher than 80 trust me you guys don't want to be like this 100 i think 100 is a little bit of overkill so you don't want to do that might hurt your eyes like that and then after that you want to manage your 3d settings so this is one of the most important i think this is one of the most important settings right here so pay attention um to all of this so feature okay setting keep this on setting scaling off because we already did, did that in the game so of course keep that off ambient occlusion off like always filtering uh applica application control yeah you want to keep this setting on copy every single thing you see right here oh yeah power management power management so this depends on your pc as a whole i want to say like maximum is really good it really is but if you have problems with maximum performance you can do optimal you can but at the same time for the video, just do maximum performance, okay? Just to be on the safe side. Also refresh rate, just depends on your monitor. So just keep that application controlled. Driver default for shader cast size. Now usually we'll do like a hundred gigabytes. But for Model Fair 3, driver default is, is better, bro. Especially with this new NVIDIA driver update, you definitely want to put this on. It'll select it for you. Let me show you guys uh, G-Sync real quick. This this should be the last thing. So do not enable this. Even if it looks good, do not do it. It'll say like it'll have like be better visuals and low latency and no tearing. But do not enable it. I don't know the exact explanation for why you don't need to do it. Just trust me. Just we had bad experiences with it. That that's all I'm gonna say. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if this video helped you guys. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna hop into a game and then see how these settings work. The visibility and the sharpness and quality colors, all that. And do me a favor real quick, hop into a game and tell me what settings was your favorite? Which one helped you the most in Modern Warfare 3 PC? I will see y'all in another video. Double gang. We out. Alright, let's see how good these settings are. Alright. Can I equip this or what? Thank you. What the heck? Alright. So I think these settings are gonna work the best or work the best like for anybody that has uh, visibility problems on high rise because there's like a lot of like areas where you can't see anybody based on the color of the map. So let's see how this works. Go right here. All right, right, right here. Got right him. You guys are wondering what weapon we're using. We're using a Bass P. Bass B. Whoops. Wrong letter. But yeah, if you guys look at the settings, bro, you can clearly see it's a lot easier to see people from far away even even name plates even name plates bro if you guys have even more trouble just from the settings still i would recommend going to interface that should help a lot too so you can like change your the name place to not abbreviated but the full name we are in a bet we are in a blender oh we got the best map we got the best map and i quit my gun please all right all right here Oh, don't get turned on. Oh, look, I ran out of bullets. Oh, he should have died. We're all up here. Come here, bro. Come here, little bros. Got right here. Nice spawn game. Nice spawn. Oh, man. What are we doing? What are you doing, go? Guy? What are you doing, my guy? Wait for him to go over here. Got him. Got him. GG. I play smart in these ports. Definitely gotta play smart when you're playing against like some weirdos. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Put this guardian right here. But they don't go that way. Throw a grenade right here. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, 
behind me. Oh, I ran out of bullets. What? Yeah, the Bass P is nice though. Like, just wait till we get like more attached before it. I think it's gonna be like really good. I think this is like the most consistent gun I've ever had, like on this game. There we go. Got right, him too. Got right, him. Get off the flag. I don't know if he spawned there or. This man is looking at the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I hope y'all enjoy these settings, y'all. We out.